Good evening, welcome to our service of Compline even, Evening Prayer. A moment to reflect on the day now coming to its close. We will pray. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. So a moment to reflect on all this day has been good, bad and awful, ugly and wonderful. And we say together, Most merciful God, we confess to you, before the whole company of heaven and one another, that we have sinned in thought, word and deed, and in what we have failed to do. Forgive us our sins, heal us by your Spirit, and raise us to new life in Christ. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Before the ending of the day, Creator of the world, we pray that you, with steadfast love, would keep your watch around us while we sleep. From evil dreams defend our sight, from fears and terrors of the night, Tread underfoot our deadly foe that we no sinful thought may know. O oh, Father, that we ask be done through Jesus Christ, your only Son, and Holy Spirit, by whose breath our souls are raised to life from death. And so we come before the Lord and just a little differently tonight from the build psalms we bring ourselves before God with these words Psalm 27 verses 1 9 to 10 16 to 17 the Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom then shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom then shall I be afraid? Hear my voice, O Lord, when I call. Have mercy upon me and answer me. My heart tells of your word. Seek my face. Your face, Lord, will I seek, for I believe that I shall see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord, be strong, and he shall comfort your heart. Wait patiently for the Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. 
Isaiah chapter 58 verses 6 and 7. Is this not the fast that I choose, to loose the bonds of injustice, to undo the thongs of the yoke, to let the oppressed go free and to break every yoke? Is it not to share your bread with the hungry and bring the homeless poor into your house? When you see the naked, to cover them and not to hide yourself from your own kin. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, Lord God of truth. I commend my spirit. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wing. Christ died for us, so that, whether we wake or sleep, we might live with him. Now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people a light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen. Christ died for us, so that, whether we wake or sleep, we might live with him. Father God, the words of the psalm this night, wait for the Lord, be strong and he shall comfort your heart. Wait patiently for the Lord. Lord's words, what comfort, what hope, what grace and mercy is before us. Lord, there's an old inscription that says, those who pray, pray. Those who sing, pray twice. And Lord, I thank you for the gift of song. Sing to the Lord a new song. May tonight we sing new songs to you. May tonight may we worship you in all that we are. Because of all that you are. And in a week which begins with the loss of a loved one. In a week which continues with so many we know beset by covid in a week where the numbers of those hospitalised, those infected, increase so rapidly, so greatly. Father God, we thank you that you put a song in our hearts, that you lift our chins, dry our tears, and reside within us. For truly to live is Christ and to die is gain. Wonderfully, mid the tears and the sorrows of loss, marvellously among the pain that we experience in praying for loved ones, in praying for those for whom problems are a daily reality. Lord, we come before you this night bringing to a close this day, praying that tomorrow we would wake and life would continue. 
praying for loved ones, praying for friends, for family, for colleagues, for neighbours, praying for our church, praying for the church worldwide. Lord, we thank you that the new song you give us does not come from man. It's not the composition of someone with a synthesizer, but it's the resonance of a God who sings healing and peace and love and grace and mercy over us. Father God, as I look at our number one child, blooming with new life. I look at friends who are reaching the other end and as the baby gets nearer to entering the world they get nearer to leaving it. Father help us to sing before you this night. Help us to bring before you the words of healing the harmonies, the wonders. And we lift before you all those on our hearts this night, Harry and Damien, Philip and his family, Leah and Kev and all that they have before them. For Terry and Barbara, Janet and Brian, for the Palmers, for Margaret and John and Graham and Gillian, of Wendy and me and Christopher and Tracy and all in that family for the Mitchells for the Holmes family and their needs for Gillian Luke and Simon for the Iddens and we pray for them we pray for Josh we pray for their life their love their ministry their unity for the Holmes family for the Morales, for Mo and George and for Derek and for Mabel, for June Hawley and her health, mental and physical and her housing needs, for the Cottrell family, for Olive and for Trish and the family as they come to terms with the loss of a loved and lost But to be reunited when Christ returns, brother, husband. For the Shakespeare's, for the Cooleys, for the Treadwells, for the Popoffs, for the Williams family, for the Hanbridge family, for John and for Derek, a brother, beset by a stroke and Covid, and for Derek's wife. Lord, we know so many, we think of so many this night. And Father, I find, I only realise how much I sing when I have a cold and my voice goes. Lord, we sing joyful psalms to you this night. We sing psalms to you in loss. But Lord, while there is hope, we pray. And when prayer is no longer that which we can bring to the person we love, then we bring them to you, we entrust them into your care. And we sing songs. We open our hearts to the move of your spirit. Father, we pray that we would hear your voice, that we would make your love known. And there's the image before us, Jesus being tempted. Father, so often we are tempted to turn away, to lay down our cards, to give up the life of love for you. 
we thank you. You are a God who takes upon himself flesh. Who goes to the cross, who defeats the power of sin that is death. And rising to new life makes real for us resurrection and eternity with you, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. So Lord, we pray this night for your love. We pray this night for your presence. And as we go to our bed, Father God, we pray that we would sleep and that we might wake. Tomorrow have a day in which we may rejoice. And so, Lord, we come. And we pray that, Lord, you knowing our struggle to serve you, the failures, the failings and the things that occur with us when sin spoils our life, overshadows our hearts, confuses our minds. We pray in that, Lord, that you would come to our aid, that you would lead us back into relationship with you, that you would bring wholeness, healing, health, that we might deny all that denies you, take off our cross and follow you. Words that echo so much in this season of Lent. Words that strengthen us in our stumbling faith. And might we pray with confidence the words given to us by the Christ. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and for ever. Amen. In peace we will lie down and sleep. For you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. Abide with us, Lord Jesus, for the night is at hand and the day is now past. As the night watch looks for the morning, so do we look for you, O Christ. May God bless us, that in us may be found love and humility, obedience and thanksgiving, discipline, gentleness and peace. Amen. Sleep well, beautiful people. May you know God's blessing, his peace and his arms around you this night, bringing protection, comfort and tomorrow may we rise and rejoice. Sleep well guys, bless you, thanks for being with us.